Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on Prezi. Prezi is a presentation software. It's kind of like PowerPoint kicked up a notch. And uh, actually you can um, import a PowerPoint presentation into Prezi and then do some additional uh, things to it, add some bells and whistles, uh, add some types of uh, animation to, uh, to really kick it up. Um, Prezi.com is where you go and um, you don't need to uh, do anything other than have an account. You don't have to download anything. And it works on all the different mobile devices and on all the uh, platforms. Uh, you don't have as many tools if you're using it on a um, uh, mobile device as you would if you're uh, on a computer. But uh, there's still enough when you use it on a mobile device uh, to make it valuable. So um, I'm going to show you, um, when you get onto your page, This is uh, you'll have some presentations already uh, done here. I'll just click on one. And uh, Prezi actually um, takes presentations that you uh, have created and um, allows you to do a number of things with them from an, from an editing perspective. This is just an example. Uh, using this in class for things like um, a process or a flow uh, organizational chart, anytime you want to visually show that uh, um, like one major topic that you can put into the center of your Prezi presentation and have a number of different things shooting off to the side, kind of like an organizational chart or a concept map or something like that. And you have the ability to add a lot of additional things in here. You can add voice, you can add music, you can add images, you can add videos and so forth. and uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically, uh, click on the new Prezi button, <clears throat> and this will launch your, your Prezi window. Now, basically, when you're, you're working in, in Prezi, um, you, you want to kind of think through a little bit uh, how you're going to lay things out in the flow. You have the ability to edit it, which is really great along the way. But you may want to have an idea of the flow because that's going to help you. At this particular point, you can see there's a whole bunch of new um, templates, a list of templates here that's been around for a while. Um, they can, you can kind of look at them, check them out. If you're working on a Prezi with one template, you can just bounce back and forth between other templates just to see what your thing would look like. And if you go all the way down to the bottom, sometimes this is at the top, you can actually start from a blank and, and build it from from square one. So number of different templates to play with. Uh, again, this, depending on what you want to do, I'm just going to choose this one. Explain a topic. So basically, if you look over here to the left, this is your start slide, if you will. In Prezi, they call these frames. And this order from one to two to three to four, to five, to six, shows the movement or the am animation of your Prezi. And then you always wrap up, in this case, the seven slide is taking you back to the beginning. So the slide one and slide seven is going to look the same. Again, these individual things are called frames. Okay, Let's talk about some of the menu areas. Uh, along the top here, present, we'll get to that in a second. Once you do something, you have your typical undo and redo. You also have the ability to save. Understand that this is an autosave format, so you don't find yourself using this a lot. Frames and arrows, we'll talk about that in a second. We'll talk about insert in a second. We'll talk about themes in a second. And then at the end, you have the ability to share, which is kind of important. You can share this presentation, send it to an email to some people. You can pop it on Facebook. You can download it as a PDF or as a portable Prezi file, and, and you're good to go. Uh, usually sharing the Prezi, sending it to somebody in an email, whether it's uh, you know your instructor having students send something to you, um, or sharing it with other students just using an email address, Sometimes that's pretty, uh, pretty easy to do, and that might be the way that you want to go. Themes. This is um, primarily, you, you can do it at this particular point once you've kind of chosen one. I'll revert to the original. But a lot of times you'll use these themes if you're starting from that blank presentation area. 
and you can actually start with a blank and do a bunch of editing and modifying and then you can create a current um, type of a theme and give it a name so you can actually build one over and above the ones that are already in here. So I'm going to click off of that. So let's uh, start working on a Prezi, show you how easy it is to do. Um, I've just clicked on this particular slide, you can do it here, you can do it over the side. Anytime you click in any particular area of some white paper area, you can enter a text uh, item. You have three different um, types. Uh, there's a kind of a title. This would be like a, a heading, like heading one, heading two, heading three type of a thing. As far as the size and the type of font, you do have the ability to adjust that or choose that if you're going to use a blank template. It's already defaulted for you if you uh, grab one of the themes. Once you actually enter some text, you have the ability to adjust the size. You also have the ability to come over here and modify the color of the text. This is a little color drop-down box. You can add bullet points. You can do various things on centering. You can do some indentation. I mean, these are a lot of your formatting types of tools that you would use maybe in a Microsoft Office product or in pages or something along those lines. So um, whenever you have some text, you can, again, move it, resize it, delete it. You have a couple of options here. Let's get rid of, let's uh, click in here to add the text here. Uh, actually, let's go up to this. I'm just going to call it test presentation. Now, again, I can increase the size. I can change the font color. Let's change it to red and we're good to go. Now I also have the ability to extend this out or shrink it back. Once I click out of it I can grab it and I can move it where I want to. This is Prezi. So I have my first, I have my first slide. Now I want to show you some things over here to the right side. Uh, locking canvas, that's the default that means that once you place things in here and you save this thing, um, the fact that you want to click on it and change it to an unlock canvas allows you to do more things. You have the ability to zoom in, zoom out. You can go back and forth to the home screen and so forth. That's going to be real nice for you. So let's talk about some of the other things that you can do. Let's assume I'm done with this particular uh, slide. I'm going to add this here. And you'll notice when I click on that, I got a plus, I got a minus, and I got a hand. If you click on the hand, it allows you to drag. The plus makes it bigger, the minus makes it smaller. Again, the hand allows you to drag. You'll also see two other ones. I'm going to assume the one on the right is self-explanatory. As you hit delete, it eliminates what you have there. Edit text gives you some choices. Again, Primarily what you'd want to do here, you might want to do some of the bullet points, but usually where you're coming here is to change your color. And we're good with that one. So now let's head on to uh, the next slide. We're going to go on to slide three. Remember the first one was the start. Uh, again, clicking into the box. And we're going to call this insert one. Um, actually, rather than adding some text right now, I'm going to go up and I'm going to insert an image. So you click on the little insert drop down. There's a number of different things that you can do here. I mentioned earlier that you can import an entire PowerPoint presentation. When you do do that, it gives you an individual frame for each one of the slides and then you can go in using Prezi and do all kinds of editing and modification in there. You can add voiceovers, uh, background music, so forth. For right now, we're just going to add an image. So you have the ability to go look for an image in Google, or you can actually choose one that's already on your machine someplace. So I'm going to do that one. I'm just going to go into Photos here, and I, I have this image that I want to put in. Now again, the image is now in. I have the ability to do all kinds of different things. I can blow it up. I can um, grab one of the uh, corners and 
pull some movements over there. You'll notice that every now and then when I get the corner, I get this little round circle. This allows me to rotate in case for whatever reason I'd like this to be on a little bit more of an angle. You know, I can go ahead and do that. Again, shrink it down, and then I got this box. Inserting a photo. And then again, click out of the box. And I'll click on this to edit. Maybe I want to change the color again. Let's change it to this green. And frames and arrows. So let's show you what you can do there. You can draw an arrow. And then I have the ability with style. I have a few colors that I can change it to. Okay, so we got something going on right there. Again, I'm just zooming in. Zooming out, zooming in, zooming out. Okay, uh, that was insert one. Let's go to another slide here. Oops, got to type in it actually. So you got to click insert two. And let's go back to insert and insert a YouTube video. Now I happen to have gone out earlier and I found. Um, I found a link for something that I wanted to put in, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. This is actually pretty cool. This is a, a sixth grader that's built a couple of apps already. So um, again, size it, move it, do whatever you want to do with it, put it where you need to be. You're good to go. We got this little text area here. I'll call it inserting a video. And again, put it where I want to put it. And let's edit that text again from a color perspective. Let's make it orange. And we can have, uh, let's draw another arrow here. And I can grab these little handles and make them a little larger. Also, uh, we you have the ability to make it skinnier or thicker when it comes down to that arrow point. So again, those are some options for you. So you can see, uh, not really complicated. You keep going through all of this and you pop all these slides in together. Um, if you wanted to uh, add an additional frame, you can go back up in here. In this case, we got a circle, so draw a circle frame and we can um, put that anywhere we want to add an additional thing. We still have other ones here. so. Um, you can go ahead and add more information into these other frames. But if you, for purposes of what we have here, we essentially have six, and then again, seven is the one that we had before. And so we decided that, um, you know, we don't, if we need more than that, we can add one after six. Seven always goes back to the first one. It always reverts there. Um, then again, you might have said, well, you know, we'd like to make these in a different order. It's pretty much just click and drag to move it where you need to be. If you decide that you'd like to add something between insert one and insert two, go ahead and move that where you need to be. And then when you're all set, and you want to check it out along the way, all you have to do is come up in here and hit present. And it starts processing. Allow full screen, say yes, and then go to town. When you're all done, you just hit escape, and you're back to where you started. If you feel like you needed to change something after your review, you wanted to add some files, um, all that kind of stuff, you're good to go. Another thing that you can do in the, in the presenter mode, oops, I didn't want to do that. Let's hit present again and say allow is you do have the ability in the bottom right corner here, there's an autoplay button. And if you click on autoplay, you have a choice of off or four second, 10 second, and 20 second. And basically what that does is that allows you to um, search uh, or to set it up so that this would run automatically. You don't have to be here and click on the arrow to advance to the next slide, either the right arrow to advance or the left arrow to take you back 
a particular slide. If you set it on auto and choose either the 4, or the 10, or the 20 seconds, this thing will continue to play until you turn it off. So that's it. That's the basics of Prezi, and hope you have some fun with it. Thanks.